Okay, I'm going to this video to give a quick demonstration of the asset graph package on the asset that's available in Package Manager. Um, it's uh, to see it, you have to check the show preview packages. Um, and I'm in 19.3.0F5. Uh, um, you just basically install it. And then once it's installed, it adds this asset graph package um, by default into your project. You can kind of just ignore that. It's, it is also meant for helping to process assets for things like asset bundles or addressables. Um, but we're going to use it as part of our uh, asset pipeline to basically pre-process assets, batch process assets. Um, so let's, uh, let's, let's get started on that. So to use it, you basically create a new asset graph. I'm just going to call this one Extract Materials. <clears throat> then you can double click it and it'll open a graph. Um, here, there's a whole bunch of different things you can do. You can um, configure bundles, modify assets, um, copy things, and so on. So first thing you want to do is load by directory. So we're going to give it a path to where our assets are. In this case, I'm using, uh, I've got some of the uh, Decagon post-apocalyptic props here in my project. And you can see it's a whole bunch of different folders of assets. So I'll just pick the top level folder. Um, and that's all of these assets. So the problem I'm trying to solve here is that in order to configure all these import settings, um, you can do, you can select and sort of change stuff, but I just like a way to be able to batch process all of these assets. There's hundreds of them in here. Um, so I can set up the same import settings. And um, in, my, in this case, I also want to be able to extract all the materials out. So then I can um, apply the textures and the textures is, or auto applying textures based on naming conventions is also something we can do with this package. So. Um, but to start, this first um, asset graph that we're going to build is just simply going to extract all the textures out of the FBXs. Um, you can see by default, um, the, the way that the asset pipeline works is you have embedded materials here, um, which is great and uh, all, but we can't really do anything with the embedded materials. If you drag it into a scene, you can see they're actually read-only. Um, so these embedded materials are kind of useless to us. So if I want to extract them out kind of like I have here with the, this bathroom sink so I can apply the textures to them. So let's continue on. So we've done the load from directory. Um, we've given it the folder to where our content is. The next thing we want to do is um, split the assets. So we want to basically take all of the assets and if you can see if I just drag between here you can see it's found 230 assets um, and if I select it here it shows me the the full list but it's also finding all the textures all the everything else that I don't actually want to process right now so we want to add a filter to it so I'm going to add a filter just say we want to just grab the model files and then we want to modify the assets by overriding their import settings. And if I add or drag this connection, you can see it's gone from the 230 files in the folder down to 145 models, which is essentially all of the FBXs in the folder that we want to process. Now there's a, an exclamation point on the importer type because it doesn't know what type of importer we want to apply so we just want to specify a model um, you can also use this to process animation clips and so on but essentially we're just going to do a standard model and i'll just specify all the things that i want to be standard on all my assets um, like if you want to generate light map uvs or colliders um, in my case i know none of these are rigged so i don't need to worry about animations um, and in this case, I actually want to extract the materials, which is this legacy external materials. And I want to use the model materials um, name as opposed to like the texture name, for example. So now that I've got that, 
And that's literally it for this, this uh, graph. Um, I can just simply click execute here and it'll just start processing the asset graph and start, it'll just chug through all of these and apply the import settings. Um, it's that easy to use. Um, next, we'll look at, um, once we've got all the materials extracted, I'll show you what that looked like. And then we can um, look at auto applying the materials based on naming convention. So we can actually auto assign all the textures to the materials that were created. So, all right, it looks like it completed. So let's take a look here. So we've got all of our materials. We've extracted out this one. Let's see, cabinet set. Um, calendar, our portable heater. So yeah, it looks like it processed it. Um, so the, the, the fun part about this one is because it set everything to use external materials, um, this isn't actually what we want. It's kind of a quirk in Unity's, the way Unity's asset pipeline is right now. So I'm going to create another asset graph. Um, I'm going to ignore those errors. I'm going to set this to uh, embedded materials. I'm going to basically set it back to what it was originally. Um, the joy of unity. Uh, split assets by filter. We want it to be a model. And then we're going to modify the assets and reset it. And I'll leave everything else the same. Actually, yeah, we'll put it all back to what it was. And then we want to use embedded materials this time. Now I'll save and I'll just execute that again. So now we're going back to the original embedded materials, except we've got the materials outside. So the embedded materials will be set up in the FBXs. Um, and then I'll explain why embedded materials are actually a good thing. It's just Unity has a quirk where we have to kind of do this extraction step. Okay. So now what we have is the materials with this um, essentially remapped override. So instead of using that embedded material that was in the FBX, we're now remapping it to use this external material. Um, and this is actually how you want to work with your assets. Um, the reason we want this embedded material versus um, just the external material is I can make changes to this is kind of the equivalent of a prefab where it's it already knows that it's mapped to this material because if you didn't do this you could drag the asset in have a material separately but then it wouldn't actually combine them on the fly and you'd have to make a prefab out of every single asset and it's kind of a pain in the butt so anyways so we've got this list of all these materials here all right, all the materials with all the FBXs, so we're now good to go. So I'm going to stop it, and then we'll take a look and uh, do some auto material mapping.